Yo guys, what is happening? This is that fish breeder here, and I finally got you guys another video, um, an update video on my Daphnia culture. It is day 22 of my Daphnia culture series, and um, as you guys can see, here's the tank. Uh, uh, as I've said before, I'll update you guys uh, when the culture gets a lot up and running, and if there's any new updates. Um, first things first, as you can see, the tank is really green, and uh. I've actually just come back from a trip. I I came back yesterday, last night, and uh, and I just uh woke up today, and wow, I, I just noticed how green it is. It's um I think it's just algae, uh, but it's not really free floating algae like I want it to be. It's more of an algae, you know, the type that clings to surfaces. So uh, it's kind of at the bottom of the tank. So I'm gonna have to do a water change indefinitely. Um, but. Yeah, I'm I'm just about to feed them, so I decided, hey, I might as well, you know, uh, show you guys what they, how many I just have. Uh, I have so many, it's incredible. Um, and first things first that I wanted to let you know is that, as you can see, the water level kind of went up about half from what it was in my previous video. That's because I, as I said, I've been gradually adding dechlorinated tap water, and they've been alive, so. That means that it there it's not as poisonous as I thought it'd be. So, I guess dechlorinated tap water will be okay for these guys. So, um, I guess no more spring water will be used. It's going to be purely dechlorinated tap water. So, uh, let's get right into it. Alright guys. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can see them. I'm looking through the camera right now and I can't really see them myself. But I swear there's so many. Okay, do you guys see them? Okay, you guys see them. Yeah, I see it through the camera. There are so many here. Um, and this is just in one corner alone. So, as I said, this is, uh, what is it, day 22? Okay, for all I know, that was wrong. But, uh, yeah, it's about day 22, or whatever day I just said in the beginning of this video. Um, I, and it's been a while. It's been about three weeks, uh, or a little bit more than three weeks. Uh, and this culture is flourishing. Um, they they seem to congregate in each of the corners. Let, let me see if I can get you guys a little bit better. Um, dang it. Why can't you guys see them? Yeah, uh, sorry about the camera. Uh, it's kind of not adjusting very well. But as you can see, there are a hell of a lot of them. There are definitely enough to start feeding my fish, that's for sure. Uh, a good harvestable um, amount. Just a huge amount of them. And a more babies than there are adults, but definitely uh, this culture is going to start getting really crazy when these this generation of um, babies grows to become adults. Because then, as I said before, each one will give birth to about 400 live... Um, young and wow it's gonna become crazy uh also harvesting in daphne culture is almost a necessity um mainly because you know we do heart we do culture daphne for a reason which is to feed our fish or axolotls or whatever it may be but sorry guys the uh battery died so i'm back um so anyways so as you can see here so i obviously have a whole lot more so uh, they definitely propagated over the last week or so. They've just started to spring up. So this culture is doing extremely well. It's just populated with Daphnia. And um, definitely very vigorous in consumption too. I'm probably going to have to start either feeding three times a day. Or I'm going to have to find an, um, another way for uh, maybe splitting off this culture into multiple smaller cultures. So... Uh, to prevent crashing because that's what I'm kind of afraid of at this point when the culture is at its highest when it's booming really well um, so uh, That's what I'm gonna have to see uh, so anyways So what, what I'm gonna do is probably start splitting off cultures and see how those go and then I'll update you guys on how those cultures the uh, split off cultures will look like so um I'll probably show you guys what the green water culture looks like later too. They're not doing very well to be honest, but I, I'll I'll show you guys. All right, be ready. All right, guys, here we are with my green water culture. Uh, 
So you guys can see, both of them, as I said before, I, you know, how I split them off. It's been about a couple, a week or two since my last video. And it's on, it's honestly not gotten any greener than it was before. Uh, if anything, the only thing that's been growing in here is uh, the, the uh, algae that's kind of like a, a film on the surface. And that's about it. Uh, the water is kind of a brownish color, really. It's not even green. So I'm afraid I think I might have just killed off that green water culture that I had going. Uh, hopefully I get them going. Uh, I, I managed to get them going again, though. Because uh, it was going pretty well until I split them off. So I might have done the splitting of the culture a bit too early. So uh, that that's kind of my bad. Uh, I'll, we'll see where this culture continues. I'm not really going to mess with it. going to let the sun and nature do... Do its course and see where this culture goes um yeah that's pretty much it guys um the only thing is the only thing is that the daphne culture has been doing really well um i'm considering possibly uh uh maybe after a couple updates uh i i feel like there's nothing much really i can start updating about so i'm probably gonna make a daphne culture video um an instructional video for how to start your own culture uh, once I start splitting off my mini cultures, like I said before, uh, and I'll make an instructional video, very simple. Uh, it'll, be, it'll show all the steps and how to get your own Daphne culture started. Because I saw there is indeed a lack of Daphne culturing videos on YouTube. Actually, there is no, no Daphne culturing videos at all. So uh, I'm definitely going to do that. And I might consider selling off some Daphne on eBay. Uh, you know, just uh you know, just so people can get their own culture started. Uh, yeah, and I'll, don't worry, I'll do it at a reasonable price. I'll, I'll put the eBay listing link probably in that video, the instructional video, so you guys can check it out uh, when that time comes. So, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Nothing special. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this Daphne culture series. It's pretty much over with. It's kind of wrapped up. And uh, as far as videos are concerned, the next things I'm going to be doing is the uh, trap series. Yeah, woot! Everybody's uh, excited for that one. I can tell. Uh, I can just. You guys always uh, let me know through personal messages and just comments on my videos to uh, restart them. So don't worry, guys. Those will be coming soon. That I assure you. Um, it is in the middle of summer right now. It's in the beginning of July, and it's a. Uh, definitely good weather definitely good weather indeed so um yeah uh, perfect timing for chops so uh, i hope you guys are ready for that so that's about it guys that fish breeder signing out peace